Welcome back to Joy Brush. So during Chinese New Year, remember I showed you how to paint a finch bird, a house finch urban bird that was standing on a plum blossom branch. So today we're gonna celebrate this urban bird again. So we'll be painting the house finch bird, but this time I wanna change it to a flying finch bird. So it's really good for you to take a look at birds when you are out taking a walk. You can also browse online on some of those uh, photo reference website. Um, take a look at stop motion photography. Uh, they actually show you frame by frame how a bird land, how a bird fly. It's really helpful for you to learn about the gesture of birds. All right, let's get started. So today we're going to be uh, using a few brushes. Let me show you the brushes we'll be using today. So we'll be using three to four brushes today. The most important one that we're going to be using is a soft hair, gold hair brush. Da bai yun. Jia da bai yun. Extra large bai yun. That's the uh, soft hair brush. The next one is our hard hair brush. You've seen this before. This is Shan Ma Bi, Wild Horse Hair Brush. And the next hard hair brush is a smaller brush. This is a Da uh, Xie Yi, smaller than the uh, Wild Horse brush that we have here. So we're going to be using this Da Xie Yi large calligraphy brush to do our details. All right, so let's get started. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to dip our brush in water. Make sure your brush is not too wet though. When uh, you have too much water, you could tap away some water so it's not uh, dripping wet. And the color I want you to get, the first color we're going to get is this titanium white by a Swan brand made in France, uh, right here. This one is a concentrated designer's color series 2, titanium white. All right, so we're going to load our brush with titanium white. Just a thin layer on your brush. So again, we are building a gradient. I want you to leave a little bit of water here and then get your white. And the next color that we're going to use on our gradient is Zhe Xie. Zhe Xie is a brown color. So you should take a look at my tutorial on Chinese paint, Chinese mineral colors. So I'll show you all kinds of paint like this one in a ceramic jar. We also have it in this format. It's pretty much the same color. So I can also get it from here. So you can see the beautiful gradient on our brush. The last color I want you to get is a hint of black ink only on the tip of your brush. Just a little hint, just a tiny hint. See, here's our gradient. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do when we paint our finch bird, we are going to paint the body. By the way, you could test out your gradient on here. Always prepare a piece of paper next to you when you paint. So let's paint the body. So I want you to use the tip of your brush and gradually push it down. Notice my brush is flat. I'm not using zhongfeng, not center position, more of a flat position. I'm going to start somewhere around here. Slowly push it down. We're going to create the belly area of the bird. And notice I have my beautiful um, gradient on here. And right around here, we're going to create the wing. So push it up. 
All right. So here's the body and here's the wing. Let's continue. So I want you to get a little more white on your brush. And we're gonna create a little uh, lake area somewhere around here. This bird is landing, is flying, but is um, about to land. And somewhere around here, use the tip of your brush and push it down. Let the color melt into melt back into the body. So the second leg, I'm gonna do it somewhere around here. Just push down your brush and let it gradually melt back to the body. Okay, so while I still have my white, I'm gonna uh, fan my brush and do a little bit of fur, a little detail. You might not be able to see it here, it's very thin fur. So later I'll do a uh, zoom in view so you get to see a little feather, a little bit of detail. You can also brush out a little fur. Okay. We're gonna change our brush. We're gonna change our brush. I want you to wet your Shan Ma Bi wild horse hard hair brush and we're gonna get some ink only on the tip of your brush again we are trying to build a gradient of lighter ink and dark ink make sure you test it out if you're not happy with it you could get a little plate and mix it on here if you find it easier so i could mix in some water this is my lighter ink and then once i got my light ink i'm gonna dot, get my dark ink on the tip of the brush and test the gradient again all right i think that's better i want you to dry your brush a little we're gonna brush out the wing area so make sure it's a little more dry and we're gonna add on to here. So again, make sure your brush is almost flat. I'm gonna start somewhere around here and just one stroke, one stroke, that's the wing. It's quite abstract. And I'm gonna also connect this area. Okay, so while this is still um, wet, I want you to get your soft hair brush, just dip it in water. There's no color on here, only water. I want you to lightly brush out, brush out the water. Let this color melt back to the wing, same as here. Okay. Let's do the um, head area. Let's get our Da Xie Yi large calligraphy brush. Wet your brush. And we're gonna dip it in ink. We're gonna try to paint the beak area. So I will make sure my brush is fairly dry uh, because we're gonna be doing some detail. So the beak area, I want you to create a line, a short little line. So push down your brush, lift it up a little, and push it down. And then the top, I want you to gradually do this. Lift it up. So one thing you don't want to do is to draw a thin line that has no volume. We don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. You want to push it down, kind of like calligraphy. Push it down 
lift it up, push it down again. Okay, let's start. So again, we don't really have any eraser when we paint, uh, make a Chinese painting. So you kind of have to picture it in your head. Uh, where is the beak gonna be before you actually paint? So let's make a mental little picture. I think it's gonna be somewhere around here. So one, two. Okay, and the top part, push it down, lift it up. Same here, one, two. Let's add in a little nose stroke somewhere around here. We're gonna do the eye. So the eye, I want you to do this, one, two, one, two, and do a circle in the middle. That's the eyeball. All right, and we're gonna gradually fill it in. Also fan out some feather. So make sure you uh, fan your brush. We're gonna fan out some feather right around here. So it's not so stiff. Same as here. I'm gonna fan out some feather. Little feather. Add some details. Okay, let's do the cheek. The cheek area, we're gonna leave it white. As the finch bird, I have this white, cute little cheek area. So I'm gonna leave it blank, and later I'll fill in the titanium white. So make sure you connect the head to the, to the body. So I'm just gonna brush out some fur to connect this area. And here, right around the nose, notice my brush is still fanned out a little bit. So I'm, I'm using this fanned out brush and lightly I'm brushing out some furs right around the nose. Somewhere on the wings as well. Okay. So let's do the um, other side of the other wing. Okay, so let's wash our brush. I'm using the same brush. I'm gonna get some zhe brown color zhe Okay, so and a little bit of ink, just a hint on the tip of my brush to create this uh, gradient effect. And again, I want to ask myself, where does it start? I think it's going to start somewhere around here, the other wing. Somewhere around here. Push down your brush. And wash your brush now. We're gonna do the um, finish of the wing. So wash your brush. I'm gonna get some black ink. Fill, fill it up to just half of the brush. Here is water, here is dark ink. And in the middle, it kind of just, it will just blend it together. So again, I'm building a gradient. Okay, so Make sure your brush is fanned out a little bit and I'm just going to do one stroke, push it out. Okay, let's do it. One, two, three, push it out. 
You see, sometimes we have these、um, really beautiful brush stroke when you're being confident and expressive. So it might take some practice, but practice on a piece of paper. You know, you could get a blank piece of paper. Practice it first. When you're happy, then you could, you know, do your final painting. All right. So my my brush is finned. I'm gonna finish off the wing. And while this area is still wet, we're gonna do a little bit of wet on wet effect. The finch bird has this little pattern. So I'm gonna draw out some little dots. Make sure it's kind of random. We don't want it to be, you know, all lined up. We want it to look natural. Nature is not perfect, but、um, it's beautiful. All right. So let's、uh, go ahead and do the head. So if you want, we're gonna we could do the same to、um, right here this area. So I want you to wet your brush, just water, nothing else, just water. You could kind of fill in this area, let it melt, let it melt naturally. Not too much water though, because you still want to keep the shape. Okay, so wash your brush. Let's do the head. So the head, I want you to get a lighter brown color. And then the zhezhe, darker brown color. We want the head to、uh, stand out a little bit because I want the focus to be somewhere around here. So I'm gonna give it a richer color. So on top of my two browns, I'm gonna give it a warm、uh, red color. Okay, so you could kind of see the gradient right here. I'm gonna、uh, start by using the tip of my brush. One, and then the other side. Think of the shape. Think of the shape too. All right, and somewhere around here, I'm gonna connect it again. Let's do the tail. So same color, but I add a little color,、uh, water. So I'm just gonna brush out the tail somewhere around here. Brush it out. Okay. Same brush. I'm getting a little light ink. So again, if you want to mix the ink first, you can mix it on a little plate. A little light ink. Okay, so I'm gonna do the tail. One, two, and then flatten your brush. Flat your brush. Just do one. Get a little more ink. The other side, one, two. It's good to have a little、uh, variety of ink, different shades of ink. Okay. All right. I'm gonna do the cheek area, so don't fill in、uh, titanium white yet. We wanna add a little water around here, and we're gonna melt the white into the water. So now, grab your titanium white and fill it in. So this part is very solid white, and then it kind of melt. Into the water and use your finger to push it out a little bit. So this is a really beautiful melting effect. You could even fan your brush and push.
brush it out furthermore. And we're just gonna do some detail now. Let's use the same brush, Da Xie Yi Calligraphy Hard Hair Brush. I'm gonna make sure my brush is not too wet because I'm doing some detail right now. I want you to get a um, Tang Huang yellow color. So Tang Huang also comes in different um, forms. So we have um, that one. We also have this more expensive Tang Huang. So all you need to do is to wet your brush and take out the color from here. So uh, if you want to learn more about color, you should definitely take a look at my tutorial on color about Chinese mineral color all right I got my Tang Huang and now I want you to get a um, orange color on top of your Tang Huang we're gonna fill in the eyeball area I'm gonna use the orange on one side and more yellow on the other side so it's a little more three-dimensional and let's grab some red so I haven't really washed my brush it's just the yellow orange and now I add on another color that's red I'm gonna get a little here so it's interesting how one brush could create so many different strokes remember we've done the wing with this brush we are now doing some details so the reason why is because you can see I could shape my brush I could fan it to brush out feather I could shape it like this and use just the tip of the brush to do detail like the tongue it also depends on how much force you are adding to your brush how light you are using your brush what angle you are using your brush so definitely take a look at my tutorial where I showed you all about Chinese bamboo brushes so let's get some dark blue. We're gonna do the leg. We're also gonna uh, paint in the beak area with this beautiful blue color. All right, here's our blue. We're gonna paint it in just a little bit. I want you to leave a little white area. Don't paint in the whole thing. Leave a little white as the um, highlight. Okay, so let's do the leg. The leg will be using the same color, the blue color. So again, when you do the leg, we don't want it to look like cartoon legs. I don't want you to do this. That's kind of funny looking. We don't want to do this. We're not painting a uh, cartoon here. We don't want people to laugh at our bird. So what I want you to do is just like how you did the beak area. Push it down, give it some bone, bone structure. Lift it up and push it down. One more time. Use Zhong Feng center position. So push it down, lift it up, push it down. That's what we want to do. Okay, so I want you to start somewhere around here. Here's the drumstick area. So we're going to start somewhere around here. If your brush is too wet, make sure you dry it. I think mine is slightly too wet. Okay. One. One. 
push it down, lift it up, push it down. And then there. This part as well, just push it down, lift it up, push it down. Okay, so let's do the other leg. The other leg is somewhere around here. Again, I'm going to picture where it's going to be. Somewhere around here. Okay. Push it down, lift it up, push it down. Okay, so here's the leg. Let's add in some toenails. So the toenail, again, we want to have a little detail on our painting. The toenail, I'm just going to get some black ink. Make sure your brush is fairly dry. We don't want it to melt. This is some uh, little detail that we're going to do. almost done the last thing I want you to do we are still using the same brush by the way we're still using this uh, wonderful calligraphy brush so I want you to get some titanium white you only need to put it to the tip of your brush but make sure you get a good coat of paint you don't want it to be too thin. It almost has no water. We're going to add the highlight. By the way, if you see some little fur coming out from your brush, you could just pull it out. Good brushes, the fur should not fall out every time you paint. If it does, um, you might wonder, you know, think about getting a different brush. It shouldn't be too expensive either. So I'm going to add the highlight somewhere around here. Now it has a sole. Okay. The last thing we're going to do is really the background. It's up to you what background you're going to add. Be creative with your background. So let me show you a few paintings I've done last year. Uh, as a reference, but definitely be creative and create your own background. I'll see you next time. Until then. <laughs>